We apparently got our first MLB The Show 25 news, so that's what we're talking about today. It says, looking towards the future of MLB The Show, we see the Show 25 logo. I'm curious in the comment section to see your thoughts on everything that they talk about down in the comment section. And I think we're just going to go through this blog post. It's not super long, but I'm probably just going to kind of read this word by word and give my thoughts on everything. First time I'm reading this headline, looking towards the future of MLB The Show. Major League Baseball's excited 2024 season is wrapped, and with MLB The Show Season 4 content coming tomorrow, they wanted to take a moment to share a sneak peek at the future of the franchise. So real quick, just some Season 4 stuff. Uh, beginning tomorrow, all fans can enjoy every card in the show 24. As we move into Season 4 with the finest content coming, there's more cards coming. Uh, there's going to be cards in our inventory from previous seasons we can enjoy again. Cool, whatever. I'm here for MLB The Show 25. All right, so MLB The Show 25 Diamond Dynasty. They say, we appreciate the feedback from our community and have also decided that sets and seasons will not. How do y'all feel about this? I'm super excited. Sets and seasons will not be returning in MLB The Show 25, allowing every car to be used freely throughout the year. While we look forward to sharing more about our live content plans for The Show 25 at a later date, our season four approach gives you a sense of the direction in the show 25. Okay. Uh, so right away, I love that sets and seasons is gone from its introduction last year. I was never a big fan of this. I just don't like having to grind for cards, the same players multiple times in a year, everything like that. I'm really curious to see how y'all feel about it and everything, but I'm personally, obviously my own opinion doesn't mean it's right or wrong, but I'm super happy that sets and seasons are gone. And I'm curious to see what season four of MLB The Show 24 looks like, because that's apparently going to give us a sense of direction for MLB The Show 25. They continue to say, we're also excited to share to you, our fans, that we will be able to earn rewards in The Show 24 to jumpstart our MLB The Show 25 experience. And beginning tomorrow, you can start earning now and later MLB The Show packs and playable content all throughout Diamond Dynasty. Each now and later MLB The Show pack earned in The Show 24 will give you an MLB The Show pack and MLB The Show 25. And I see some asterisks here. So maybe that's at the bottom of the post. We can see what looks like maybe the Show 25 logo. I'm getting reminders of what was, was this MLB 17 where they had the gold on the logo? Now, obviously, this is a huge stretch, but are we going to get another legend on the cover? If the Show 17 had the gold and we had the legend Ken Griffey Jr., does that mean we're going to get another legend? Who knows? Maybe in the comments section, any early MLB 25 cover predictions or hopes for whoever is going to be on it. Any legends you might want to see in the Show 25, but let's keep going on. It looks like we get some stuff about Road to the Show, DD again, franchise gameplay. So let's continue reading. As we work to develop the most authentic and realistic Major League Baseball experience possible, we also wanted to share a sneak peek showing just some of what's to come next year in the show 25. Wait, I can't remember the last time we got news this early. Okay, road to the show. They say that in MLB The Show 25, they're going to deepen the player's journey before being drafted. College? High school? Imagine like Little League, Little League World Series. Nah, that would be crazy. But I'm real curious to see what before being drafted means. Uh, they also say, and return control to how a player develops and grows in new and interesting ways. Okay, I like the new and interesting ways thing. But I really like the idea of returning control to how a player develops. Does this mean that I'm going to be able to actually finally pick and choose again what attributes to upgrade when maybe even let some downgrade if i want to can i make a low contact high power low fielding guy on an Amer? i guess everybody's got a dh now but like i used to put my guy on an american league team have him have good hitting ha hitting stats bad fielding stats and kind of force him into a dh role like am i finally going to be able to pick and choose what and when i'm upgrading certain attributes man i really hope so but that's a good first sentence for me for road to the show 
I know a lot of people want more before being drafted, specifically college. That'd be real cool if that's what it is. Curious to hear more about that. Curious to hear the new and interesting ways. Next bullet point, we have Diamond Dynasty. Alongside the retirement of sets and seasons, thank you so much, uh, our fans can look forward to all new elements of the Diamond Dynasty experience blended with what our fans love most about Diamond Dynasty. So it sounds like they're keeping what people love i'm curious what that is but it sounds like they're keeping what people love which is good to hear but they're also adding new stuff and i can't wait to see what that new stuff is <laughs> hey can anyone guess what i want yeah i want a three inning rank seasons mode just to shorten rank seasons or something like that where i can use my team that i've been grinding these programs moments events everything else for i would love a shorter game to use that team in but i'm real curious to just hear more about this obviously franchise improved trade evaluation metrics are coming along with a new fun and engaging off-season experience okay now i haven't really played any franchise this year so i mean obviously there's this is just a sneak peek this is not the only changes but i'm curious in the comment section if you've been playing franchise the franchise is one of your favorite modes how does this sentence make you feel how does the sound of improved trade evaluation metrics, how does the sound of a new fun and engaging off-season experience sound? I'm curious, let me know. And the final bullet point here is gameplay. With the expansion of quick time events, defensive AI, it seems like the defense actually just improves every year, and pathing updates, enjoy more engaging moment-to-moment -moment gameplay. I'm guessing the quick time events is only single player stuff. That's what I would assume. Now, defensive AI, that sounds like it's probably going to affect everything. Uh, pathing updates, that sounds like it's probably just the routes to the ball that a player takes, things like that. So, um, not 100% sure. Maybe other things like base running too. But uh, I like that they're going to try to improve gameplay in some way. I still don't think hitting is perfect. I would like to hear more about other gameplay improvements. Obviously, this is only a sneak peek. These are not the only changes we're getting. Uh, and that seems to be the end of the blog post. The bullet points, internet connection required, uh, internet connection required, receive your now or later MLB The Show Pack. So I'm curious because it, it says, uh, and purchase, the, the internet connection, MLB The Show account, and purchase of MLB 25 once available is required to receive your now and later MLB The Show Pack in MLB The Show 25. But when I was reading this, okay, uh, when I was reading the now or later pack thing, it says you can start earning now or later MLB the show packs, but then it, it doesn't mention now or later here. And maybe that's just because they didn't want to be redundant, but uh, it says each now or later MLB the show pack earned in 24 will grant an MLB the show pack in 25. So I'm not sure if they just didn't want to add that in. I don't know if that was on purpose because... A lot of times the show packs, that's what standard packs are. So I'm curious, did they just not add in now or later here? Because at the bottom, it talks about the now or later packs in MLB The Show 25. So my guess is maybe they're just missing the two words in front of there. I was thinking when I first read this that, hey, maybe this is talking about standard packs, but I'm not 100% sure. But I can't wait to see y'all's thoughts in the comment section. I think the big, big thing from this blog post is the retirement. I think it's the removal of sets and seasons they're not returning an MLB 25 I think that's kind of the big news that we have here I'm real curious to see what you think in the comment section because I know how I feel but I have no clue how y'all feel uh if my comment section over the last couple of years has been proof of anything I've had so many comments saying I'm not playing this game again until sets and seasons are gone I hate sets and seasons I don't like sets and seasons I've had some comments saying that they do like sets and seasons and they enjoy it but the majority by far of the sentiment that seems to be in my comment section over the past couple of years of MLB The Show is that people don't like sets and seasons. So I'm real interested to see if that's how the comment section on this video ends up feeling. I feel like the only other like huge news actually for me, I mean, yeah, I guess I was going to say huge news would be one thing from Road to the Show, but really two things. Uh, deepening the player's journey before being drafted that sounds great but returning control like that is that is what really stands out to me man if i can actually level up my road to the show player exactly how i want to that's going to be so nice that that's going to really make me enjoy road to the show again so 
Awesome, man. I know it's early. I know it's not a lot. We don't even have a cover athlete yet, but I'm happy with this blog post. I am already excited for MLB The Show 25 and the future of MLB The Show. Also, I don't know if I'm going to make a separate video about this. Uh, probably not. We'll have to wait and see, but we do have some more Season 4 news in case anybody's curious. Uh, you have the Season 4 XP reward path with some finest cards. There's a cycle Nolan Arenado. Wait, that's kind of cool. A finest Bobby Witt Jr. A finest Jose Ramirez. Okay, Tanner Scott, Zach Wheeler, and then a retro finest Kenley Jansen. So a lot of us were wondering, hey, where's Bobby Witt? Where's Jose Ramirez? Boom. They're not even collection rewards. They're going to be in the season four XP reward path. So that's a good sign. Love to see that. Um, Otto Lopez, they finally revealed him. I don't know about officially, but they finally posted their tweet about Otto Lopez. And then one of the new finest collection rewards, a 2024 finest captain. And it's going to be Corbin Burns, a finest captain. And he is, I guess, unless there's some others, which I don't think there are. He is our first of those six finest collection of rewards so in addition to mlb 25 news we got to look at more cards love to see corbin burns he's my corbinite krypton burns uh, i suck facing him i love using him i like that captains are going to be 99 overalls i love to see a cycle nolan arenado bobby witt's awesome jose ramirez i can't wait to see the attributes on this card man i'm so excited we're actually getting a jose and i'm actually happy that he's part of the xp path maybe and not one of those collections that's going to be pretty nice to see